I, I think the word threat so is a bit is 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 too strong. And 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 the son um, and the and the and the Home Secretary clearly thought it was a good idea too. Operation Grange, set up after a direct request from David Cameron, is a year into its work and has already cost the British taxpayer two million pounds. The McCanns felt they were getting nowhere with the new Home Secretary, Theresa May. So, printed on the front page of The Sun was an open letter from the McCanns to her boss, David Cameron, appealing to him as a parent to agree to a review. We've been told by the highest government sources that pressure was being exerted on David Cameron by News International and by The Sun newspaper in particular, as well as by the McCanns. Within 24 hours, the Prime Minister decided that a review could be paid for out of a special contingency fund run by the Home Office and reserved for special cases. Madeleine McCann, the Prime Minister decided, was a special case. But a source at number 10 told us David Cameron acted as a sympathetic parent. McCann said, because he, he couldn't take this issue much further, was that Your intervention was successful in securing a review of the case. Do you understand that? I, I, he, you, you ask if it was successful and he says it was, yes. Yes. Well, when you were discussing the arrangements with the McCanns, mm -hmm. you asked if there was anything more they wanted. Do you recall that? Maybe, yes. And Mr. or Dr. Jerry McCann said that he wanted a... UK police review of the case. Do you remember him saying that? I do, yes. And do you remember your answer being, is that all? Um, well, I may have said it slightly more politely, is there anything else before we conclude this meeting, but I don't particularly remember saying that, but maybe I did, yes. I, I'm not putting, suggesting to you that, that it was impolite mm. in just summarising the gist of Look, what may, you said. Maybe, yes. The Sun wanted an immediate result and that a, a letter would be posted all over the front page from the McCanns to the Prime Minister asking for a review unless Downing Street agreed. Did that happen? I think that's how the Sun launched the campaign from memory, was with a letter, yes. But the Home Secretary was told that if she agreed to the review, the page one letter would not run. Do you remember that? No, I don't. But his um, Secretary of State did not respond in time. You did publish the letter on the front page. Do you remember that? I, d I do remember the Sun kicking off the campaign with a letter, yes. <coughs> and you don't believe there was any conversation or indeed threat to the Secretary of State. Is that right? I'm pretty sure there would have not been a threat, but I'll, you'll have to, we'll have to ask Dominic Merrin because, like I said, my involvement was to discuss the campaign um, in, the, in, the, in the continued search for Madeline with the McCanns and to do the deal with, on the book and to, they, they, because of, I'd done so many campaigns in the past, mm. they wanted my opinion, but after that I left it to both editors mm. to execute the campaign. Because what I've been told is that you then intervened personally, Mrs. Brooks. You told number 10 that unless the Prime Minister ordered the review by the Metropolitan Police, the Sun would put the Home Secretary Theresa May on the front page every day until the Sun's demands were met. Is that true or not? No. I must repeat it to you. It is said that you directly intervened with the Prime Minister warned him that unless there was a review by the Metropolitan Police, the Sun would put the Home Secretary Theresa May on the front page every day until the Sun's demands were met. I Is know. that true or not? I did not say to the Prime Minister, uh, I will put Theresa May on the front page of the Sun every day unless you give me room. I did not say that. If I'd had any conversations with Number 10 directly, they wouldn't have been particularly about that, but they would have been if I'd been having a conversation. The Sun was leading a major campaign with a very strong letter on page one to start the campaign, and anyone who knew me would have talked to me, any or politician would have talked to me about it, but I did not say that. I don't know who said I said that.
but we're going back to sources again. But could uh, could we ask this? Were you part of a strategy that involved your paper putting pressure on the government with this sort of implied or express threat? Um, I was certainly part of a, a strategy to launch the campaign in order to get the review for the McCanns, yes. But I, I think the word threat so is, a bit, is, 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 is too strong. Well, give me another word then for threat, could you? Persuade them. Persuasion. Right. And 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 the son um, and the and the, and the Home Secretary clearly thought it was a good idea too because I'm pretty sure there wasn't it wasn't a long campaign it wasn't like Sarah's Law over you know ten years it was I think it was quite short. Yes, we didn't take very long because the um, government yielded to your pressure, didn't they? I think it took all of about a day. Or perhaps they were convinced by our argument. Hmm.